Happy Red Day. Let's read about a big red dog named Clifford. Clifford takes a trip. Clifford takes a trip, written by Norman. He's the author, he wrote the story, and the illustrator, he drew the pictures. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is a happy day for me. This is the last day of school. Summer vacation is here. Now I can play with my dog Clifford. Not for us, it's the beginning of the school year for us. We don't go on long vacation trips. It's too hard to get Clifford on a bus or a train. Maybe you took a trip this summer. I wonder if you brought your pet, if you could fit him in the bus or the train or in your car. Clifford can't fit. Lloyd can. We only go to places that Clifford can walk to, like picnics in the park. He looks pretty helpful. Beat traffic. Last year was different. Last year we went to the mountains. Mommy and Daddy said it was too far for, for Clifford to walk. Oh, he misses. He knows he's going to miss Miss Emily Elizabeth. So we left him with the lady next door. He doesn't look too happy about it. She looks nice though. That night, Clifford was so lonely, he began to howl. He howled and he howled and he howled. Oh. Until someone threw a shoe at him. Bump. It didn't hurt Clifford's nose, but it did hurt his feelings. The next morning, Clifford set out to find us. He sniffed his way along the road. <laughs> Clifford didn't mean to make trouble, but a lot of people never seen a big red dog before. Uh -oh. Distracted people while they were driving. I would probably be distracted too. Clifford kept going. Nothing could stop him. And then he saw a little old man trying to fix his truck. The man needed help. So Clifford stopped and helped him. He took the little old man to a garage. The little old man gave Clifford a little lunch to thank him for his help. Then Clifford set out again. Nothing stopped him, not even wet cement. Oh no, wet cement is the hard sidewalk. That's what it looks like before it, hard, it hardens. That's not good. And traffic jams didn't stop him. Clifford just tiptoed over the cars. And then he came to a troll bridge, a toll bridge not a troll. Clifford had no money. A toll means you have to pay money to go over the bridge. The money helps keep the bridge in working condition. But that didn't stop him. Smart dog. We didn't know Clifford was coming. I found some new playmates, two baby bears. I was having so much fun. I didn't see mama bear. You don't mess with a mama bear or her babies. She didn't want strangers to play with her babies. She growled. I was in real trouble. Then we heard a louder growl. Growl. Guess. Who was growling? Dad, take a guess. Tell me. If you said Clifford, do you think you're right? I think you are, let's say it. Mama Bear was surprised. It was Clifford. She even forgot her babies. I told Clifford that the Mama Bear was only protecting her children. 
That is very true. That's what mamas do. They protect their babies. Mama's terrified. She's up in the tree. Clifford is huge. Good old Clifford took the baby bears back to Mama Bear. That was kind. Then he took all us all back to camp. Mommy and Daddy were surprised to see Clifford. <laughs> then I told him how Clifford saved my life. So they let Clifford stay with us. Oh, what a good dog. A good boy. That's what I say to Lloyd when he's being a really good boy. And that's how we sleep. Except for I'm usually the bigger dog, the person, and the dog's smaller. Not, not for Clifford and Emily. Next year, maybe we will find a way to take Clifford with us when we go on vacation. That's a good idea. The end. Give it a round of applause for Clifford, the big red dog. He took a trip in this story. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Happy Red Day.